And we're back! Oh, this is Buddha. Alright. 8153. So this is the one we went to before. Sumo apron, I don't think he wants that. Oh, yes. You. Y oh, what? I didn't click that. I didn't click that. We all saw that. I didn't click that. Either way. 8135. I want to return Great Buddha's Orange. You can enter inside Buddha's belly. Which is kind of creepy. And he lost his house because of a tidal wave or a tsunami. Yay! Man, Luigi, you're going to be so rich after this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, we couldn't get a picture of the whole of Buddha. We just had to take a picture of his face because it's just that huge. That's all you can fit inside a camera. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, that one's gone. So we only have one more thing to return. Alright, alright, alright. Hey, baby. What we got, what we got? Eight, one, three, four. Let's read all about it. Sumo wrestling has both been a popular art form and a sport since the 6th century and originates in Shinto temples. The wrestlers began training in their early teens by endlessly practice, strenuous, endless practice, strenuous exercise and an avid eating of special foods. To become serious contenders, the men must reach an enormous size, 250 to 375 pounds. The sport is highly complex with unbreakable rules and traditions. The aim of one of a match is for one contender to force the other out of the ring. Or to touch the clay surface with any body part besides the foot. The wrestlers... Oh, come on! There must be more to that. No, wrong one. This one? The wrestlers first appear in... <laughs> Okay, well, if the answer is in anything other than that, it would left me severely underpaired. Sure. They wear a bun and a loincloth. That wasn't in the pamphlet! The wrestling area is in the shape of a square. Oh, it was a circle. There's a square inside a circle. No? Something like that. There's a square somewhere in it. Dim, dim, dim. Dim, dim. One, three, four. Two more apron. Sure. They eat. Force the opponent to eat special foods. No. Special. F put on fancy ring. It's in the shape of a circle. Yay! Luigi, you saved our city from the Coopers, and the people are grateful. Thank you. Good luck and goodbye and say hi to Mario when you find him. <laughs> Cause I love him so much, I hate you. <laughs> oh. They're about to make some very manly laugh. I mean, um... Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Awesomes. We have arrived. Go eat some hairy balls. I'm so glad someone said that they looked hairier rather than prickly. <laughs> Although either works, really. You like those, Louis? Uh, um, Yoshi, you like those? You like those? Oh, you're having a bit of trouble, but uh, I can. They're hard to swallow. I, I can see. <laughs> All right. Who knows where we will end up next? You locked the door, what a boy, now you gotta try and lock some more, but Mo is gone and can't be found. Just give up now and get out of town. He should have been a rap artist. Get out of town. Get it get it get out of town. Well they just did get out of town, didn't you see, man? Oh, you look stoned really badly right now. Into the next door!
Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Vamoose. Beetlejuice. Come on. Where are we? That is the question. We are in the black plains of, of nothingness. Oh no, we're actually somewhere. Hey, helpful. No, 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 don't go, don't... No, no, stop, stop! Thank you! We're in Egypt. <laughs> you finally showed up, Mario. Oh, sorry, Luigi. Look, Larry. Sorry, Luigi. This is Mel Mayor Sellout. As you can deduce from the newspaper stories, which I haven't read yet, these guys are blowing us off of the map with the landmark looting. Anything you want in this town is yours for free. Chessmaster, miracle pianos, gauntlet 2, anything. Just stop those creepy coopers. Ah! Chessmaster! No, I do actually have Chessmaster 3000. It was a really good game. Oh, just to the south. That's an opportunity I can't pass up. Oh, and a token. Oh! They're all really close! What the hell's going on? How weird would it be if I already had every single thing that was needed on this map? Wh what? Okay, so we've got two pyramids and a clock. Nah. Alright, let's... Hot hair dryers. Havoc was wrecked as hair dryers from the Have to Have It hotline were heisted earlier this week. Our sources in the south tell us that the hair dryers are, were hot wired to help quicken the Arctic quagmire. No information on yet on how they were hijacked, however, a company spokesman claims it was in the hundreds. Larceny in the desert. A typical twist of events. Turtles have come out of their shells and have surfaced on the wrong side of the law. Chaos reigns as night falls. A witness. Usually reliable. Saw artifacts moving out of the city under total power. Whew. I have no idea what that was. It's kind of like, oh, I swallowed a yawn and here it comes. Ugh. All right. She provided the following sketches to police. The Sphinx. The cleft. The cleft of the Sphinx. The cleft. The tomb of Tutankhamun was Tutankhamun's mask. The Mosque of Muhammad Ali is the gingerbread clock, which would be this. Oh, it's gingerbread. We could eat it. Um, the Great Pyramid is the top brick at the top of the Great Pyramid. Fantastic. Fantastic. Anyway, um, I guess we should cut the video in just a minute. We'll just go up to this booth. We should have enough time to actually... Oh, oh, Cole. Hey, Mario. Luigi, did you hear? Bowser had to hijack the last truckload of hydras since he couldn't afford to pay for them. He only got away with a few though, thanks to quick thinking by the truck driver. Boy, is Bowser ever mad? Keep on trucking and come get me soon. My question is, why didn't Bowser just hijack the hydras to begin with? Seriously. Alright. Toot is true or true true but we'll be back and we will read this then so um see you guys soon bye bye